When you're troubleshooting a problem with a workload that uses data or a service that comes through an express route, so this could be traffic between your on-premise network and Azure virtual networks, so coming and going between virtual machines, storage accounts, it could be data replication or backup. Express route traffic can also be your private connection to Microsoft 365 or even private peering with your CDN. So given all the ways that express routes can be used, it can be hard to figure out which express route traffic is going through. You can use Kentic Cloud to get that information and to quickly rule out a problem with an express route. In my data explorer, I'll choose Microsoft Azure as my data source. And I can add dimensions to my Azure traffic to see instance name, application context, and the express route circuit name, plus whatever other attributes I want. Now you can see a lot of this traffic is east-west, so I'm going to filter it to try and look just at the southbound traffic. With my application context added, I can quickly see which express route the traffic for this application, in this case, this is SNMP, is using. Also, this is a 50 meg circuit, so we can see that overconsumption is not a problem for this circuit today. I can find out more in the Kentic map. Here at the top, I can see how on-prem is connecting through my express routes. This Ashburn Palo Alto firewall is connected to my express route circuit. And here's the identifying data on that circuit. I can also get information on this Ashburn IPsec connection. I've got the tenant ID, the subscription ID, and some volumetric data. If I follow this route down, I can see that it connects into US East. So let's take a peek at these VNets. The team using 10.170.0.0 has had some problems in the past, so let's start there. I can see that 10.170 is utilizing that VNet gateway to Ashburn. Let's look at some traffic details from this subnet. I can visualize the internal traffic that's been using this express route over the time period that I specify. I can also see which traffic is being dropped on this subnet. I can also use Kentic Map to inspect express route metadata. When I have a problem with an express route, these are the details that are hard to try to get to understand that problem. I can click into this express route to see details such as dropped packets. And we're building this up at Kentic, adding more and more metadata so that you can have all the information that you need at your fingertips to solve fast.